Hey, welcome back to the channel, it's Gil here. And today I want to talk with you about a really important subject regarding weight loss that can really help you to understand more about your weight loss journey and to basically reach your ideal weight. So basically me and Noah, my co-coach, identified a really um, common pattern with all the clients we work with and all the people to work with um, and we talk about with weight loss is that when they start losing weight, so maybe you had this too, like you lose the initial five, 10 kilos, but then what happened is that it's very hard to stay on track and you get to some sort of a plateau. Um, and most people just don't really know how to handle this. They don't know the reasons why it happened. Uh, and here in this video, I want to give you a couple of really good tips and more understanding of why it happens and how you can break those plateaus after you lost the initial five or 10 kilos and how you can keep losing weight. So if you're interested in losing weight and you're a business professional um, and you really want to understand how you can break those plateaus once and for all, so stay tuned. Right, right, right. So let's start with a case study of a client that we had recently that we worked with, an entrepreneur from Europe, you know, tech entrepreneur, led a lot of companies, um, and tried to lose weight after basically 20 years that he hadn't tried anything. So in the beginning, he lost seven kilos and he felt really good, you know, he got compliments from his co workers, you know. I don't know if, if you ever tried, but imagine how amazing it is to lose seven kilos. Like it doesn't, it, it's, it's a big achievement, like it's amazing. Like you, even try to lift seven kilos right now, it would be hard. So imagine what it's like to do seven kilos, you know, you get into your old, old shirts, you feel really, really good. Um, and that was maybe the problem because what happened is that, you know, he lost seven kilos after 10 weeks and then he just like stopped losing weight. He reached like this plateau of like two weeks. So we did some sort of like analyzation. We tried to understand, okay, what's not working. And the problem, and this was like a huge discovery, is that most people think that when they have plateaus, it means that the body and the metabolism slow down, right? And then, oh, my body doesn't want to lose weight anymore. Uh, I don't have good genes. My metabolism is slow. I will not be able to lose weight. So it has some truth and we're going to get into it soon. But with him, the discovery, the huge discovery was that it wasn't his body or his metabolism just slowed down. But what actually happened is that he just let himself go because he became really cocky, you know, and it almost happens naturally. For example, if now you think about football club, right? So when they have a huge win, likes losing seven kilos so they let, let themselves go and they don't train as hard and they have rest day and that's exactly what happened with this client and also with many other people with, regarding weight loss is that after initial weight that you lose you know the first five first seven kilos you just feel so good and you feel that you already achieved the goal so you just feel that yeah you can let yourself go and you can have more treat meals and you cannot follow the habits and you can do less exercise and that's what usually happens so it's not your body it's actually the mindset uh, and the consistency and the dis discipline that you have. So this is like, was the big discovery that we had with this client. Um, and now we're going to break into it a little bit more to this topic and to understand exactly what you can do to avoid this plateau after losing those five kilos. So let's get into it. Okay, so uh, after I described the client that lost the initial seven kilos and kept losing weight after we changed things, I want to give you a couple of tips uh, based on our work with him that can really help you uh, to break the plateau and start losing weight after you lost the initial weight. I'm just resting a little bit in this beautiful afternoon walk in the park. Uh, so let's start with the first thing, okay? First of all, we realize already that it's not metabolism, it's mindset, okay? Metabolism is important because, of course, while you're getting closer into your ideal weight, you start losing weight uh, more steadily and you lose weight, you lose less weight every week. You know, if you look at this like as a graph, so you lose weight very fast in the beginning and then it gets to some sort of plateau. And then, of course, within time, so if you already lost, let's say, 50% of your uh, weight goal, so yeah, so we lose a little bit less. But it's not as significant as what happens with the mindset stuff, okay? So the first thing is that you have to realize when you are in a cutting phase, in let's say a weight loss phase, in a carry deficit phase and when you are in a maintenance phase okay because naturally like if you think about journeys that you have natural let's say university and business and entrepreneurship so you have times you have months if you divide this into months you have months when you you know you push you put the effort and you lose weight and you go into this carry deficit you watch really hard on your diet and you do all the exercise correctly and this is like the let's say intense phase and in this intense phase most people can lose between 5 to 15 kilos, right? That's what most of our clients do. And it's natural to have, after that, one or two months to get some sort of like a break, to dip in a weight maintenance, to not be as careful and as precise with the habits as you did before. Um, and it's completely natural. So if you're within this one or two uh, weight maintenance months, it's completely fine to not losing weight. So don't 
get hard on yourself and don't think that it's a problem it's fine because it's natural to have those those weeks so it's really important to understand this at the beginning all right so to the second tip that can really help you break those weight loss plateaus is that follow on the base follow the basics get back to the basics okay um, with this client what usually what happened is that after he lost the initial five kilos and he has those two weeks of plateau we just told him yeah get back to the basics which the basics are basically yeah drink water and um, you know eat more fruits and vegetables uh, walk a little bit more you know the basics that we do with our clients and um, basic habits and just by doing the habits suddenly he lost one kilo a week and he felt great and then he got more into the meals and then it was this like cycle of getting back on track and it was really really good and um, so what i can tell you is that if you had this period of time that you weren't off track were off, off track completely and it wasn't good when you get back first of all start with the habits keep the habits in check okay uh, usually when we're, when our clients are not losing weight for a couple of weeks and we see that it's a pattern that they not that they have this like this break or plateau we usually look at the habits and then we see okay maybe they don't drink enough water maybe they don't do the breakfast correctly maybe they don't walk enough all those habits those small habits if we don't even talk about dinner and lunch those small habits that can make a significant improvement significant change so tip number two follow the basics and tip number three which is a little bit less practical but still important because it can give you more understanding about the mindset and eventually as i said most of the plateaus are mindset plateaus and not actual metabolic metabolic plateaus and um, what i can tell you is that you can always remind yourself why you're doing this okay what usually happens with our clients is that they feel very comfortable right um, after the initial five seven ten kilos and then they some some sort of like forgetting their goal they're forgetting why they are doing this they're forgetting for example we have clients who want to lose weight for health reasons we have clients who want to lose weight for uh, appearance reasons and they kind of forget it they kind of feel that they already achieved it um, and then it's very hard for them to get back on track so i would tell you always try to remind yourself the why always understand why you're doing those things uh, and when you understand the why the how always always happens somewhere all right uh, that's the most important thing so try to remind yourself why you are doing this for your family for your kids uh, for your appearance to even have more business you know we have clients who just want to be more representable uh, it's very important so this is a very very important tip that i can give to you and yeah so those are the three tips that i can get, I gave you about um breaking the plateau losing weight after you lost the initial weight and just feeling again good again reach your ideal weight um, and break those plateaus those annoying plateaus um, so we talked about you know understanding what is the phase that you are right now if it's cutting phase or it's maintenance phase finding your why again and of course always getting back to the simple simple habits that are the most important stuff and of course um, if you want more help you can always apply for a consultation call on our website and of course watch other videos that we have in our channel of course subscribe uh, and see you soon and let's break those plateaus and bye bye